Hey guys, it's Chris. It's been a while since I made a video. And as you can see, <laughs> I already made a video for starting this. And I had gotten some uh, new recording stuff. And. I didn't turn on sound. So I recorded an entire video that had no sound at all. So I'm creating a modded series with Sky Factory 3. Um not sure how long it will last, but I want to try and at least do quite a bit of stuff. And I'm starting all over since I recorded an entire video with no sound at all. So here we go, as soon as it loads. And if you haven't played uh, sky Factory, it is a sky block, which means that it's just a void. And I've added a few mods into this. I added open blocks, uh, vein miner, because I prefer that over or excavation. Um, I added a couple tinkers mods to increase tinkers because. I love Tinkers. That's probably one of my favorite mods. Although, I did start playing this mod before, and it has a mod called Chickens. And I really enjoyed playing with that mod. It's a very unique mod. This on top of that. Let's make some slabs to make a platform. Let's do the bottom slab so mobs cannot spawn on it. Oh, before I continue, let's turn on magnet mode. So, my first couple episodes are probably going to be really slow because it's basically just going to be me getting everything started and just getting everything where I want it to be. So right now I'm just gonna get a little bit of warm wood and some silk worms. So we can get started because that's basically everything you have to do at the beginning is just get everything situated. And if this goes over well. I might uh, do some more modded videos of some different mods. I'm kind of new to the modded stuff, but if you all enjoy watching me play this, I'll play some other mods and hopefully at least get some viewers on my channel because. I enjoy playing Minecraft and I'd like to uh, 
get some people watching it and enjoying it too. So yeah, that's what's gonna happen. I hope, and hopefully this series gets better than my vanilla one that I started. I think I posted like three videos on YouTube, then I recorded a few more, but ran out of time to post them. So hopefully this ends up better than that did. <laughs> After I use this quick up, then I'll start uh, making some dirt, and I'll also put some silkworms in the tree to get some string so I can make some meshes so I can sieve the dirt, try and get, uh, I believe it's pebbles, so I can get stone. Or cobblestone. So this is just very grindy in the beginning. Uh, if this one goes into a big tree, I'll probably just silk that. Nope, nope. I don't have much use on my crook left. We almost got four stacks of saplings, that's good. Then there goes the rest of that. And now let's go a tree. Put some silkworms in it. Now, let's make five of these. And I have a really old computer, and my the video recording software that I'm using does have a pause feature, but every time I try and minimize my Minecraft window, it usually ends up force closing, and that wouldn't work so well if I'm making a video, so I'm probably just going to... Uh, go straight through without any cuts in my videos and stuff or at least for the first couple episodes and see how it goes let's make a few more planks and let's go off in this direction a little bit and make a mob spawner. That's probably good. Widen this out a little bit. And we'll probably make that halfway right there three wide, so I just have a little bit of leeway. Because if you fall off this, the uh, your beginning platform, it's hard to get your stuff back until you get water. 
and a way to transport the water. So we'll make this where the mobs stand. So this will be the back. Let's bring the mobs up. spawn there now. Oops, here we go. Think of that. Two. And three. So Enderman can spawn. Because we always want end of worlds. There we go. Now we can make F7. Yep. Alright, so there's our little mob spawner. And we ran out of slabs. Now while we're doing some stuff over there, mobs should be spawning. We can make a Tinker's Construct sword so it can level up. Okay. Let's go ahead and make Crook. Pressed grip so we can get the string. Obviously, that gave us a little over a stack. Yeah, that should be good for now. Did I not make. Oh, yeah, I did make five. So now we can make Tinker's Construct starting here. Let's take this down so this tinsel table crafting station park building 
Pad and Chess Tour Special. Just a little bit more dirt. Now, in the video that I made previously that you guys didn't get to see, I had gotten up to lava generation, which is probably what I'll do in this episode. And then I can make wooden tools. Go. Oh, there we go. Come on. My computer likes to glitch out a little bit. Then we have mobs. So. Go ahead and make a couple chests so we can start storing some stuff. We'll kill these mobs and see what we can get. I don't know what the sneak attack too means, but it happens anytime I sneak and attack a mob. I don't know if it's like increasing the amount of damage I do or what, but I think bats drop with like bat wings or something. I'm not sure what they're for. Okay. Got a couple of creepers there. And we have uh, mystical agriculture in this pack. I haven't played with Mystical Agriculture, but I played in uh, Sky Factory 2.5 and they had uh, Magical Crops, I believe is what that mod was. And I think they are, oh, I'm going to get the head. Two of them. Huh. So apparently you can store creeper heads <laughs> in you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's this get a little bit more dirt. Let's tree. Get some more saplings. And I uh, watch a lot of uh, YouTubers play Minecraft. I watch uh, Mumbo Jumbo, Exuma Void, Iskal85, uh, iJevin, Stomp the Bean, and uh, they're the ones that kind of inspired me to do this. So if they ever watch these, I thank them. I doubt they would, but.
And this should give us enough dope to seed. So I have some in that chest. So we also need that. And I'll just take all the string. Actually, yeah. So probably later on in this series, or once I get at least one egg, uh, I'm probably going to start the chickens mod just because I really liked playing with that mod. Get four meshes. <laughs> and now with our dope, we can start seeding. This almost puts us up to lava production depending on how many pebbles we get. And I believe we got enough. So we need eight for a bonus. And we need to make. Hammer. And let's hammer down. Let's see. I believe it is seven porcelain clay for the crucible. Yes, seven porcelain clay. That gives us eight clay. We also need a bucket, so let's just do four bits of dust. There we go. Oh, and I forgot one of the main parts. So we need let's see. Let's make a few of these. Let's make four. Look, I'm already running out of room. Now it can either rain or I believe we can craft wooden shears, which I believe is like that. Yes. And we can shear the leaves to put in there. We wait for that to turn into water and go kill more mobs. And there we go. Oh, I also added in the. I uh, don't know what mod this is, but it's uh, a leveling mod that adds folks in as you level up and I think when you if you die it decreases like you have to start over I think it's similar to um, the uh, leveling system that's in forever stream of lost souls 
Let's see. So we've got potato, sugar cane, ooh, sugar cane. Spruce, dark oak, acacia, seeds. And that's it. So as you level up, you get three skill points, and you can add that to any of these. So I can see the melee, uh, for every level, it adds a chance for a random critical. And for every five, it increases the damage with items. So we can put three in there, and that should increase our chance to do a critical attack on mobs, which I think just increases the damage done. Just trying to see if we killed that bad of it drop I think it drops bat wings. But nothing Ooh, not one of So our water is now done so we can get the dust. Now we got clay. And so we need three bones. I said it was seven. Made porcelain clay. And then we can get another table. Craft that. Bucket. And then so now we have the Crucible. So we place that over a feeding source and I put, I think it's four. Yep, that'll start making lava for us. And now we can make some water. We can make a water source with our bucket. That. Okay, so yeah, drops bat wings from actual editions. And you can use that to craft wings of the bat. So yes, this item gives you the uh, gives you creative flight. So with six bat wings and two empowered diamantine crystal blocks from the ender star which means we have to kill the wither and go to the end before we can do that so that's not gonna be happening anytime soon let's see how have I been recording? It doesn't show me. Now? I guess we can make a cobblestone generator and then we'll end it there except this is taking a really long time. So I can start making the cobblestone generator and then we can do that next time. So the best way I know how to do it is probably not the most efficient way. But since these don't burn, we don't have a lot of options. Let's see. Uh, 
quick it vein. Of source white vein, make more already more wooden but don't need it. Challenge it. Source layer. Water source layer. You don't need it a bit more. So the lava should go in there, the water should go there. And while we're at it, we can Need a little more water source. And this should all be unspawnable. Spawn in eight perfect. Actually, yeah, the one that's one more perfect spot here. Actually, that's that. And then there we go. We got a water source. Now I can put that. Put that right there. Almost there. But we will save that for next time. So, that's it for today. Next episode, we will finish the uh, thing, the cobblestone generator. And then see what we go from there.